Portugal, one of the oldest and most beautiful countries in the world. I don't know about you, but studying in Portugal is an amazing experience, at least in my opinion. If you have the same opinion and you want to continue your education in Portugal, you might need a Portugal student visa. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I will tell you about Portugal student visas, its eligibility conditions, how to apply for it, its requirements, and so much more. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, no time is better than right now. Go ahead and do it and like the video while you're at it. Now, let's start. Who needs and doesn't need a Portugal student visa? Let me make it simple. It is up to your nationality and the length of your stay. First, nationality. EU and EEA nationals can study in Portugal for up to 90 days without a visa. However, if they want to stay longer, they have to receive a certificate of registration. The EU nationals need to have health insurance and a passport to stay in the country. Remember that you have to inform the officials of your arrival within the first four months. You can also work in Portugal without facing any limitations. If you're a non-EU resident, the story is a bit different. First, you have to know that a few countries don't need a Portugal short stay visa. If you are among these countries and your study course is up to 90 days, you don't need a student visa. But if your course is longer than 90 days, you need a student visa and a residence permit. You must apply for a visa to the Portuguese embassy in your home country, but you receive the residence permit from the Portuguese Immigration and Border Service inside Portugal. There is a PDF in the description. You can see a list of those countries on it. If your country doesn't have a visa waiver program with Portugal, you need a student visa even if the course is up to 90 days. Now, let's talk about the length of your stay. The length of your stay is related to the type of Portugal student visa you get. Portugal student visas divide into two types. Short-term student visa or type C. You can apply for a short-term student visa for a course longer than 90 days or doing academic research and you don't have to apply for a residence permit. A second one, long-term student visa or type D. When your academic studies last longer than one year, you need a long-term student visa plus the residence permit. Providing that you need to stay longer than one year, you can extend the permits. Now, how to apply for a Portugal student visa? Again, the application process for a Portugal student visa could be different depending on your nationality and type of the visa you need. Let's go. Step one, check if you need a visa. Talked about this one. Step two, get an acceptance letter. You need to get an acceptance letter from a Portuguese university. You need to communicate with them and see if you can meet up with the conditions. When the university accepts you, they provide an invitation letter so then you can begin your application process. Step three, find a place to apply. Now you should find out where to apply for a Portugal student visa. Find the nearest embassy or consulate. You might have to apply at a visa center authorized by the government. It is up to the country you live in. Out of my hand, sorry. Step four, complete the application form. When you find the embassy or visa center, download the application form from their website. If the center is near you, you might be able to get the paper from them in person. Complete the application form with the correct form of your information. Please be careful. If the provided information doesn't match with your documents, 
it will be bad for your application. When you complete the form, print, date, and sign it. Step five, set a visa appointment. Schedule a visa appointment with the embassy or visa center. You could get one through a website or a phone call. If you got a receipt by online reserving, print and keep it. Do not forget the exact date and time of the interview. Step six, present the requirements. You need to provide some supporting documents during the visa appointment. Don't worry, I will talk about them. Step seven, go to the visa interview. Go to the Portuguese embassy or visa center on the set date. Don't forget to bring all the requirements. You also need to ask the officials how to prepare the requirements. They might require documents in A4 format or some copies. You never know. Try to wear something a bit formal. Speaking a bit Portuguese will have a good impression on the interviewer. Now, some applicants say that the officials evaluate your behavior. Try to look professional, but do not pretend anything. Submit the documents when you meet the visa officer. They often give a receipt when receiving documents. Keep it. Then, pay the fee for visa processing. You also need to answer a few questions about the purpose of your visit, your background, your future plans, and other stuff. Be honest and give true answers. The fate of your visa is up to the interview. You also need to pay the fee for visa processing. The fee is up to the embassy or visa center services. Step eight, processing. Now it is the time to wait until authorities work on your visa. The processing time is different and up to the time of the year, your situation, whether your documents are complete, etc. The officials will inform you if they accept or refuse your application. Step nine, the residence permits. If you get to Portugal, you have to apply for the residence permit. Remember that non-EU nationals have to apply for the permits. Visit the Portuguese immigration officials or local city council hall and provide a completed and signed application form, your passport, two photos, proof to have enough funds, proof of accommodation, evidence that you have registered with the university or education center, and proof that you have paid part of your tuition. Now, what are the requirements for a Portugal student visa? Your application form, passport, application letter, proof to have enough funds, evidence of reserved accommodation, clean record certificate, health insurance, and two photos. Be careful, the list I just told you is a general one. And depending on the embassy's request, you might have to submit more documents. Here's a question. Does a Portugal student visa have language requirements? Portugal student visas don't have any language requirements. However, the university you apply to might require your language certificates. English or Portuguese proficiency is up to your course and the education center. If you take a course in English, the officials accept language proficiency tests like TOEFL or IELTS. Now, another question. How long is Portugal a student visa valid? The Portuguese officials will grant you a visa valid to complete your course. If your course takes longer than one year, you can extend it. Can you work under a Portugal student visa? Yes. Yet, the time and type of work depend on your conditions. For instance, EU nationals can work in Portugal without any limitations or time limits. The non-EU students have the authorization to work part-time up to 20 hours per week. On vacations, they can work full-time. Now, the expensive part. Portugal student visa fee. 
The cost for a Portugal student visa is up to the type of the visa. A short stay visa would cost about 60 euros, but you have to pay 99 euros for a long stay visa. The nationals of Kosovo, Russia, Georgia, and Ukraine can pay 35 euros for a student visa. Keep in mind that the prices might be up to changes and you might have to pay more for further services. Well, there you go. Now you have all the information you need to apply for a Portugal student visa. Since I was so helpful, subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you don't miss out on our new content. Thank you all for watching.